friends, and welcome to today's daily devotional from Joy to the World by John Piper. Today's devotional is for December 4th, and it is titled, For God's Ordinary People. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria, and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. That is from Luke chapter 2. Have you ever thought what an amazing thing it is that God ordained beforehand that the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem, as the prophecy in Micah 5 shows? and that he so ordained things that when the time came, the Messiah's mother and legal father were living in Nazareth, and that in order to fulfill his word and bring two insignificant people to Bethlehem for that first Christmas, God put it in the heart of Caesar Augustus that all the Roman world should be enrolled each in his own town. Have you ever felt like me? ordinary and insignificant in a world of seven billion people? Where all the news is of big political and economic and social movements and of outstanding people with lots of power and prestige? If you have, don't let that make you disheartened or unhappy. For it is implicit in scripture that all the mammoth political forces and all the giant industrial complexes without their even knowing it are being guided by God not for their own sake, but for the sake of God's ordinary people, the ordinary Mary and the ordinary Joseph, who have come to be moved from Nazareth to Bethlehem. God wields an empire to bless his children. Now do not think because you experience adversity that the hand of the Lord is shortened. It is not our prosperity, but our holiness that he seeks with all his heart. And to that end, he rules the whole world. As Proverbs 21, 1 says, The king's heart is a stream of water in the hand of the Lord. He turns it wherever he will. He is a big God for ordinary people, and we have great cause to rejoice that unbeknownst to them, all the kings and presidents and premiers and chancellors of the world follow the sovereign decrees of our Father in heaven so that we, the children, might be conformed to the image of his Son, Jesus Christ. Friends, we will see you tomorrow for another devotional. Have a wonderful and blessed Advent.